Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. We are back with our ICBM submarine, as you guys can see right here. And we do actually have a bunch of missile bays on this thing now, which uh, we want to work, you know, we want them to work properly. Now, if you guys seen the previous video, we actually had a bit of a disaster. Uh, some of the missiles that we used actually just exploded and blew up, and that wasn't a good sign. But today, we're going to go ahead and try and design something that will allow them to actually work properly. So, let's go ahead and jump straight into this and see what we can do. Okay, so we gotta jump straight into this and we gotta grab one of these guys So let's go ahead and delete that off the top go ahead and delete this guy right here all the way across there And we're actually gonna go all the way across the bottom and delete all of those too We're gonna delete all of this and all of this as well. There we go. Nice So this is essentially the missile that we want I believe there are parts on this that will make it a bit of a boo-boo uh, Like that bit right there if we can then have a little look around see if anything else is uh, Somewhat merged with this that shouldn't be uh, and get rid of it if we need to. I guess that piece right there actually needs to go. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And if there's anything else that needs to go as well, we'll also get rid of that. Luckily, I think that's it. Okay, so back to our submarine. Here it is right here. Let's go ahead and drag this down the side and essentially just paste it there for later. What I want to do now is actually work on the missile bays themselves. Let's go to the inside. We're going to delete these and we're going to fill them in. Now, I know that isn't something that you'd necessarily do all the time, but that is what we're going to be doing this time. We need to fill every single one of these in, we need to delete all of them, and uh, yeah, we're going to get something working here very, very soon. Uh, continue deleting them, here we go, delete that guy and that guy, do this, and do this, and there we go. Okay, so from there, what do you expect me to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy all the way down to the bottom, pretty much. We're going to get ourselves a track, and we're going to go ahead and shove it straight into here. Now, this was suggested by uh, the guy that made the missiles, and honestly, this is something that I was planning on doing myself. Um, but, yeah, I wasn't sure it was actually going to work, so we'll see right now whether it will. Anyway, we're going to continue doing these guys down the inside. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm doing the inside, it's because some of these bays are too close together. Um, which makes it very hard to actually use the center wall. So, um, that's why we're using the center, and we're gonna go ahead and use this side for the, um, for the hard point. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and attach more of these, and I'll be back with you guys very soon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is something that we did last time, and, uh, actually, no, wait, 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 before we do that, we need to attach one of these. Um, no, 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 Okay, right, we've got a plan. Let's get ourselves a pivot and smack it onto here. Now, we need it where we can actually see that it is going to connect to uh, the other things. What is this right here, and is it part of the actual thing? Yes, it is. So, I need to find the actual hard point in here, and it is on this side. So, we need to grab one of these guys, attach it onto there like so. Go ahead and put this guy right here, delete this, and attach a hard point directly to this. I believe this is how we do it anyway, so that is going to be pretty good. We're then going to delete that guy. That's okay. All right, from there, we then need a gripper, which is going to attach on to the other side. So we got to put it here, uh, like this, essentially. So, if we can, let's go do, 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 down from up there. Oh, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do this, but essentially down from up there, uh, this way. All right, you go down a little bit more. Delete these guys, put this here and here. Delete this, delete this, all the way up the sides. There we go. All right, we're then going to go to this guy right here, grab ourselves a gripper. And we're going to put it on that side, just like that. There we go. So now we can actually attach onto the rails of this side. We can use this as a hard point, and that's going to work. Maybe. All right, so now that we've got this, we need to attach this guy into here like this. We're actually going to go down this side, and we're going to go ahead and put it into here just like that. There we go. So now we go ahead and we drop it in. There we go. Obviously, that is all the way in. We go ahead and paste that there. And we move it along, and we do it over and over and over and over again. And there we go. So we're going to have 12 missiles all together. I think the way that I'm going to do this is I'll have one set on one side. So I'll, I'll obviously fire all of these guys off. And then on the other side, I'll have another set. And I'll fire off those guys separately. So um, instead of firing the first six, we'll actually fire those six. And then we'll fire these six. Actually, that makes no sense. We're not going to do that. Um... <laughs> So let's not do that. Anyway, paste this in here, continue it across, paste this guy in as well, continue it, paste it in again, and continue it, 
and then paste it in again. So the main reason we don't want to do one side and then the other is because we'll go off balance and that's not a very good thing for a submarine. So we'll probably not do that, but um, yeah. Anyway, go through each of these and merge these guys with these guys in order for it to actually work properly. There we go. Connect all of these guys together. There we go. Good. Take it to the other side and do the same thing. Now, I do want to mention at this point, I'm sorry that uh, we've done so much where we've had to redo it or at least do lots of attempts at it because it's actually kind of challenging. <laughs> it is actually very challenging doing this, um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it anyway. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and attach all of these guys to each of the missiles and then we'll go ahead and test it out and see if it works. Okay, so our target today is actually going to be Frantic Lighthouse. Let's go ahead and put this marker pretty much on the buildings. There we go. And let's get inside and see if we can actually make this work. So we go inside. Here we go. We go ahead and do this. That is not really what I wanted to do, but sure. Go ahead and set this to something like 35. There we go. And we are pretty much good to go. So all I have to do is press this button now, and it should start launching them. Hopefully, they actually launch out and work. Okay, right. So... Yikes. Okay, so we can't really have them firing into each other. That is something that is kind of a bad idea. So what we might have to do is actually add a bit of a delay between this and some of these. Or give them a little bit of delay between each other. So what I'll do then is get ourselves a delay. Alright. And we're going to shove five of these in the bottom of the uh, submarine. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four... Five, six. I mean, we don't really need six. We only need five, uh, but that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll send it from there into a delay. We'll then fire one, and then it'll delay, and then we'll fire another one, and then it'll delay, and then we'll fire another one. However, I do think there must be a bit of a delay inside of this. So let's go ahead and have a little look and see what that is. Hold on. Logic. Greater than. Launch. Okay, right. So uh, da -da 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 -da. constant number one. There's a blinker. Yeah, so it's every one second, it'll actually fire off another one. Um, so I can actually change this, instead of being one second, to like three seconds. And then they'll fire a little bit more separately. At least I think that's how it works anyway. Let's try it. So that means we might not actually need that delay. So that should be pretty good, to be honest. Let's go to the inside right here. Go ahead and do this. Uh, and the main issue we were just having right there is they were actually hitting into each other. Clearly, that's not going to be an issue if we have enough of a delay. So let's go ahead and see what this does. Here we go. All right, there you go. That was three seconds, and it fires off. Three seconds, and it fires off. And you will notice that these guys go in different directions, but they will actually end up turning and going towards the actual, um, the actual target very soon. So they are turning and going the right way, and that is all of them. And they haven't crashed into each other and blow me up at the start, so that's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to teleport to the lighthouse now. And I'm going to go ahead and set a marker where the base is where I'm firing from. So that we can actually see where they're going to come from. Let's get to the top of this. And see what happens. Here we go. So just look in that direction. And uh, hopefully, we'll actually be able to see them coming. I think so, you know. I think this will be fine. Okay, so I've been waiting here for actually quite a while now. And none of them have turned up. So something's gone wrong. I just don't know what it is. And I don't know where they've actually flown off to. So clearly, there is a bit of an issue there. I don't know. I don't really know what it is, though. Um, I wish I did. Okay, so instead of actually changing anything right now, I'm going to go ahead and select a bit of a different target, and we'll see if we can hit that instead. So let's go ahead and select this uh, and see if we can actually hit it. So go to the inside. Here we go. Yes. Okay, good. And um, I don't know. Put in our little waypoint. Go ahead and set this to 35. Actually, we'll go with 25. Uh, we'll open them up, and we'll actually just send them. There we go. One's gone. There we go. Nice. And it goes that way. That's fine. So I want it to turn to the right, which it is, in fact, doing. Uh, that one's going to go to the left. That's okay. And that is also turning. But they are going upwards. Not entirely sure why they're going upwards. But look at them go. That's pretty sick. That's really cool. Okay, so it appears I've actually been very silly in the way that I've been doing this. Uh, so there is actually uh, some points within this that aren't actually fully merged. I didn't realize this was on a pivot, uh, but there is a sensor right there that, um, yeah, that needs to be in there. Or that actually just needs to be in there. So what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and get this beast again. 
Uh, and instead of deleting that piece right there, we'll go ahead and add the gripper, we'll add the hard point, we'll shove it into the machine, into the submarine, and then it should actually work. Maybe. Okay, so I've replaced all of the missiles, I've gone ahead and put them back in, we've got the delay again because uh, I had to redo that, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, select an island that we want to actually shoot at, I don't really know where. Let's go for the Frantic Lighthouse yet again because I feel like that's actually kind of a fun, a fun target, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do this, uh, target altitude 35, go, and then do this, opens up all the doors, and then fire. Okay, so is that working? There's one. Oh, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't quite right, but that's okay, it has worked. Oh, they're getting very close to landing back on the submarine, but they are working, so that's lucky. Woo, yeah, they're getting extremely close. Uh, are they all going in the right direction? I feel like they are turning and going the right way. So now what we need to do is actually get over there and see if they do actually hit. So teleport here and we'll wait and we'll see if they do actually hit the target. I can't... Oh yeah, I see one. I see one up there. Okay, they're on their way. Two. Okay, I see two. They're going to come from two slightly different directions. Oh, these ones are in the water. That's annoying. Uh, but here's one. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, that one hit the target. That one hit the target, and then these guys are really low, but they are also hitting the target. Guys, we've got missiles at work. I can't... I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> it, I mean, they hit the target. That is all that matters. Target successfully destroyed. I mean, it, it would be destroyed if there was any demolition in this game, but there isn't, so there you go. But anyway, the missiles that are in there now do actually work, and I'm actually very pleased with them. So now what I need to do is go ahead and make the back ones work as well, and that is it. Okay, so I want to try and bypass uh, it a little bit if I can. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do this, and then I'm going to try and connect. Uh, oh, I guess actually we're going to need to grab this piece. All right, so if I can have like, let's say, we would need 12 of these. But let's go ahead and copy this and put it here for right now. Paste it in. Merge it together. So merge this with this. Um, can I connect this? To there, okay, good. And then connect this to here, which will then fire, I don't know, a random missile that I want it to fire. So let's say this one. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn that in and see if that button actually just fires that one missile. Because if it does, uh, that would be very useful. And um, I think we'll do that. So we only fire one at a time. Uh, that sort of negates the need for a delay and stuff like that, but it's fine. So go ahead and do this. There we go. Go ahead and do this to 30. Was it 25 or 35? I'm not sure. And then do this. And then press this button. Yes. Okay. So it'll fire one at a time if we just use that microcontroller instead. Uh, that does seem to be flying in sort of the wrong direction. But I think it is going to turn around and hopefully go in the right direction. Uh, hopefully soon. I don't see it anymore, but... Hopefully that is turning around and going in the right direction. But anyway, uh, this is actually pretty good because it now allows us to just do one at a time, which is um, perfect. But you know what? Just because I think it'll be kind of fun, let's just go ahead and uh, do another one of these. So let's say that that goes through to there. This guy goes through to here, uh, which I believe is what that one does. No, it's not. Uh, wait, hang on. That doesn't go to anything. This does. This goes to there. This doesn't go to anything that doesn't go to there and also we're gonna say it doesn't go to uh, here there we go good so now all of the controls are actually gonna go through this uh, instead yes okay this will be fine so we need to connect this down to there we then need to connect this uh, also to there but we can't do two can we so we might need another one of these in order for this to work how I need it to but that's okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there like so I'm going to go ahead and put this right here, and I'm just going to stick that on the back right there like that. So we can connect this uh, to this guy, and that'll be fine. Okay, good. And then we also need the frequency to go into here as well. Good. And we also need this guy to go into there as well. There you go. So it's sending the same sort of frequency and stuff uh, to each of the missiles, but I actually, I don't even think we need to do this. I don't think we do, but maybe. So now that we've got that then, let's go ahead and uh, connect all of this panel to all of the missiles at the back and see if that works. 
Okay, let's see if this works then. Let's jump inside and uh, we'll essentially just fire off all of the missiles at the same time. I don't know whether this is uh, actually plumbed in right. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and do this. And 35. I don't know what it was at last time, but there you go. Go ahead and do this guy. Opens up all the doors. And then do this. Okay, so that's firing that one, but obviously it's not firing the ones at the back. And I don't think I've got a trigger for the ones at the back yet. So we need to try and figure that out. So what actually starts it is the button, isn't it? Yes, it is. So this actually fires the missiles. So as soon as we press this one, they're all going to fire. So it means we're going to be firing two missiles at once every three seconds. That might get a little bit messy, but let's go ahead and see if it works. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so do this. Go ahead and put that in. Put this to 35. There we go. Do this. And fire. Oh, boy. Two missiles at once, guys. Oh, it's totally going to work. This is cool. This is very cool. So the ones at the back are going at the same time as the ones at the front. And we got one more to go in each. There we go. And off they go. Nice. Okay, let's go get in the tower again in the lighthouse. And I guess there's going to be, like, a lot of them turning up very soon. Hopefully we spawn at the top. Oh! Yeah, okay, good. Are they already here? I don't see them. I see these ones, okay, but I don't see these. Oh, there they are. Okay, so there's going to be two arriving at the same time each time. It's ridiculous. Those ones go in the water, which is kind of strange. But they are going to hit. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at these two. Holy moly! Yeah. Okay, so those guys can actually be on two different buttons. Uh, and that would work out completely fine. Okay, good. We've actually got our missile system working. That's great. I do want to say a big, big, big thank you to SESSI. Because they actually made these missiles. And honestly, they are really, really cool. So uh, you guys should definitely go check them out. Both on YouTube and their Steam Workshop. Both linked down below. But honestly, this is really cool. Uh, I'm so glad that we've actually got them working now. And the submarine is, um, yeah, it's going to be able to progress now, which is awesome. All right, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for right now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and are enjoying this series altogether. These things are absolutely insane. They are so cool, and uh, I'm really happy we've got them working finally, which is uh, awesome. But anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.